Hello everybody, welcome to Roots Academy, powered by Rainbow Ecoscience. My name is Patrick Anderson, and today we're gonna to talk about magnolia scale. So magnolia scale is a soft scale. That means that it's feeding in the vascular system of the tree, drinking the sap. Anything it can't digest at that time comes out of its rear end in the form of honeydew that sprinkles everything underneath it, and then sooty mold will grow on. Now, magnolia scale is a native scale, and it can be found anywhere magnolias are grown. But it can be a real pest in some of our northern states, specifically states in the mid-Atlantic, northeast, midwest, and upper midwest. Well, one of the things that's concerning about magnolia scale is the fact that it's one of the few scales that can actually cause branch dieback and death unto itself. So just alone, this scale can cause branch dieback and death, and this is why it's a problem. Now, what's unique about magnolia scale is its life cycle. While most of our soft scale insects, the crawlers will emerge sometime in the spring, magnolia scale crawlers don't come out until later on the season, that is late summer or fall. That is usually between 2100 and 2800 growing degree days, or when seven suns flower are blooming. The other distinction with magnolia scale is that it only feeds on twigs and stems. It very rarely moves out to leaves. This can be a real issue when we try to get systemic products to it. Now, from the standpoint of predicting when it's going to be available, there are some neat tools out there. The National Phenology Network actually has a magnolia scale forecast that tells you when magnolia scale may be coming out in your area. So something to check out. Now let's talk about management. There's several tools that we have to manage magnolia scale. These include foliar sprays as well as systemic applications. But let's focus in on foliar sprays to begin with. And specifically what we're gonna talk about is a product called Proxide. This is an insect growth regulator. So what this does when you spray the tree and crawlers come in contact with it, they're unable to mature into their next life phase or morph into their next life phase. This breaks up the life cycle and thus the insect begins to perish. This is a very effective means of managing several uh, scale insect species. From here, let's move on to some of our systemic options. Let's talk a little bit about Dynatefuram. This is a great product. TransTech, we can use either as a soil application or low bark spray application, or we can use TransTech infusible as a trunk injection for larger trees. This is a very effective way to manage this scale pest. But a key distinction here is the time it takes for it to actually work. Even though we know Dynatefuram makes into plants very, very quickly, in this study, it took up to 56 days after treatment for the scale to perish. So this is a really key distinction and something we need to communicate to our clients so they understand what expectations are. This will work, but it might take time before we actually see these work. Now let's talk about how we can manage the scale from a higher level. If we have very low populations or we're doing a preventative, we can do one or two of these protocol treatments to manage the scale and be very effective. However, if we're dealing with very high populations, to get control of the scale, it's going to be important that we use an integrated method, a combination of these methods. If you have any additional questions, we do have a scale management guide. You can find that on our website. Any additional questions, please feel free to reach out to our Solutions Center. Have a great one.